We are in a climate emergency. And unless things change drastically, we face a future of mass migration, mass starvation and societal collapse. This video is a message for the church, an urgent message. We need prophetically to point out that a hundred companies have been responsible for 70% of carbon emissions since 1988. We speak justice inspired truth when we lament the fact that these companies are financed by major banks some of which can be found on our own high streets. Since the Paris Agreement was signed in 2015, banks have invested over $1.9 trillion in the fossil fuel industry. While shareholders will celebrate profits, the cost of this will be borne by the most vulnerable. Fossil fuel industry leads to increase in CO2 emissions, which in turn means increased global temperatures, which in turn means we are heading to the point of no return and societal collapse by the end of the century. The worst climate offending bank in Europe is Barclays, who since the Paris Agreement in 2015 have invested 85 billion dollars in the fossil fuel industry of which 24 billion was for fossil fuel expansion let justice speak we cannot use all of the carbon in existing fossil fuel projects and remain below two degrees above that of pre-industrial temperatures to expand and find new reserves is simply unjust. It's unethical. If these reserves are turned into emissions, it would be a crime against humanity. To put it bluntly, Barclays as a bank is back bankrolling mass death, mass migration and societal collapse. Let justice shout. Barclays needs to change its ways. Customers should cancel their accounts and shareholders should do all within their power to bring about reform. The God of justice is calling for prophets to speak truth to power and overturn tables until that day when justice rolls as a mighty stream and sweeps away greed, exploitation and the dark forces of unrestrained capitalism. In Jeremiah chapter 7 we read these words If you truly amend your ways and your doings If you truly execute justice one with another If you do not oppress the alien, the fatherless or the widow Or shed innocent blood Then I will let you dwell in this place In the land that I gave of old to your fathers forever Lord have mercy Christ have mercy. Father, let your church have courage and wisdom. In these strange and difficult times, let us know your hope and peace. Amen.